So my name's Adam. I have the distinct pleasure of running a website called Desk Beers. Um, Desk Beers, uh, as it says in whacking great big letters, uh, delivers craft beer to offices. Um, so what I'd like to do today is uh, take you through how Desk Beers works uh, real quickly as a customer and then kind of more interestingly perhaps how we run Desk Beers as a business through this website. So this is the homepage. Um, Pretty straightforward, uh, a bit about the beers that we deliver. Um, it's a subscription business first and foremost. Um, at the end of January, we started uh, delivering uh, across the UK. Um, that's some more people drinking beer, that's some customers. Um, so yeah, let's say we're, we're on and we want to subscribe. Um, so we go ahead. Um, first question, where are you? On production, this asks whether you're in London or the UK. The smarter among you may uh, notice that London is actually a subset of the UK. Uh, this is kind of historical. We used to be in London and Brighton. So we have this notion of cities. And then uh, when we were confident in our sort of being able to deliver to Brighton, we rolled out uh, that to the rest of the UK. So it's now very much whether or not you're in London or the rest of the UK. So let's go ahead and say that we are in London um, and we would like a subscription. So this is how we go about creating a subscription. Um, how many bottles do we want? Um, we'll sit with 12, I think. And how frequently do we want them? Uh, we could have them before night. Yeah, so let's have them uh, once uh, every week, Friday beers, that kind of thing. Pretty cool. So 36 quid a week, uh, 250 plus that. Great, cool. Uh, carry on. Okay, so I actually have an account, so I'm going to sign in with the lovely admin uh, at example.com password. <laughs> yes, cool, in. Very good. So I've come up with a genius uh, name Don Pitch Me Bro. This is a pretty good name. And now we land on our account page. So we're all signed up, we've got our subscription, great. We can um, uh, view the history of that subscription. We don't really have much history. We have one pending order, that's the one that's coming up. Um, ignore the fact that it says Saturday, that's to do with the fact that I'm an idiot. Um, and we can edit that subscription because we haven't changed it, we haven't charged it yet, so we can say we want more or less bottles, fine. Um, we'll cancel that for now. Um, that's pretty cool. So given that that's the case, um, let's go and see how we go about fulfilling a order uh, like this. So if we go to the admin. This, so this is uh, Bloombox. Uh, Bloombox is the Rails starter kit that uh, powers Mint Digital's Rails apps, um, which is what Despia started life as. So the tab that we're interested in at the moment is our deliveries tab. This shows us all of our upcoming deliveries because this is the first delivery that we've done. We haven't got any in the future yet. So let's go ahead and pretend like it's Wednesday evening and we are about to uh, get ready to fulfill this order. So in the last couple of days, um, we've uh, taken delivery of some beer at our website, our website, our warehouse uh, out in East London. And let's say that we've got some really nice gamma ray uh, and uh, neck oil from the wonderful Beaver Town. Now that we've created that first delivery, we've locked and charged it, it's gone ahead and created um, eight deliveries in the future, which gives us a little bit of insight as to how much beer we need to order in the coming weeks. Obviously, as people uh, subscribe, that will go up, and as people cancel, that will go down. Um, but it gives us a rough estimation of the sort of ballpark that we're, we're dealing with. So uh, next thing to do is to go and have a look at the details of that order. We can see here that we've got um, a CSV here. Um, do I want, I want that? Yeah. And we've got some uh, labels. So if I just crack open those labels, you can see that's the, uh, all the information. Yeah, pretty, pretty straightforward. And back here, if I crack on that, this is the CSV that the couriers then ingest. It's got the number of boxes that we're sending out at the top there, one times gamma ray neck oil, and then all of the uh, pertinent information for this particular delivery. That gets ingested by the couriers. Away we go, you'll get beer. That's it. Um, I see you've got a very nice sort of branding on the box there, but yeah. have you thought about sort of maybe hooking up with a print company and you can sort of put your own sort of logo branding on the box itself. So maybe like, we're a company, we just secured a big deal, we want to celebrate, we come to Desk Beers, we can quickly import our logo onto your oh, boxing wow. or packaging, get it sent straight to the business, and it comes, it arrives in a nice way, and it has like the lo our logo on it, Desk Beers comes up with That's Brixton nice. Beers. Yeah, no, so maybe like something, hooking up with a print company, 
and getting yeah. that something integrated with your platform. So doing the, the print on demand kind of thing. Yeah, that's in all, order yeah. To so personalized packaging, a personalized edge. That is uh, that's not something I considered. It's really interesting. So the company that spawns uh, Despiers is called Mint Digital, and um, they've got a bit of a track history with that sort of mass uh, personalization kind of thing. So they did things uh, like sticky gram, foddle me, those kind of things. So the print on demand kind of thing, that, that definitely does play into our sweet spot, if you like. And yeah, it's not something that oh, I consider. Nice that's, that's amazing, yeah. Yeah, that'd def- be a good touch. Definitely think of that, thanks. I've, I've used your service oh. uh, many times. Um, but the one thing that was always a bit tricky for me is I, when I was using it like when I was doing more like evangelism and consultancy, mm. I was using it as bribery. So what I would often do is, when I managed to get a meeting arranged with a customer that we were trying to like get involved with or something like that, is I'd say, oh yeah, I'll come along, I'll do a demo, I'll give you a talk about what we're all about, and I'll, I'll order a box of desk beers to your office as well. So kind of by the time I'd finished talking, there was like a nice box of beers that came out. But it was it would be convenient to be able to like quickly change where the beer is going to and make sure it's because otherwise it was like oh we have to plan a week ahead and stuff yeah and also like deliver on days that aren't fridays so yeah i completely hear you so and um if i go to our accounts here we can see that we've got this purchases uh, button so this is the first step on that road so at the moment it's going to take you through the whole flow again you're going to have to put in the new payment methods on and so forth so in as quickly as i possibly can the goal is to uh, move the payment method from being attached to the thing that you're buying to the company that is paying for it. That seems like it might be a, an, an obvious thing. And then have deliveries that aren't Friday for uh, at least initially for one-offs for these these purchases. Um, and have the have this be much more along the lines of how many beers do you want, where do you want them to go to, and we'll just bill your card for that, and it'll turn up tomorrow. Um, so yeah, no, I'm absolutely here. That's yeah, number one uh, use case for that, definitely. Fantastic. I think that's all we've got time for. So we can have a massive round of applause. Thank you very much. Thank you.